What's going on, MetaFam? We are back here for a video, and we got some pretty important updates here in today's video, and hopefully leading into a possibility of even more updates for tomorrow. So uh, let's get in here to it first. But before, I wanted to give a shout out here to Mad Mikey. Uh, put, he put together this little tweet here, and this is to keep you reminded, guys, of what has happened so far um, in the MMTLP here. So reminder. Remind your reps of the following while asking for a hearing. On 9-12-23, Mike Crapo grilled Gensler at a meeting. Gensler played dumb. 9-27-23, Ralph Norman asked Gensler about MMTLP at a meeting. Gensler played dumb. On 12-22-23, open letter sent to SEC and FINRA. Both stonewalled Congress. That was the third stonewalling of Congress. Call your reps. And also on the open letter, there are 74 congressional signatures, guys. That's right. On the open letter. Uh, Don Fizz was down there in D.C., walking the halls of Congress, talking to everyone. And uh, I think the message was pretty much keep calling your reps, keep pushing for this here. Get the uh, He's going to get back down there shortly and keep the, uh, keep the calls and letters coming. All right. Now... This here, I wanted to touch base. Uh, George replied back to this little bit of a bickering here between Mark Basile and Marduk. Um, like I said, I'm not getting involved in any of that. But what we did get out of this little bit of back and forth between them, we got Mr. George Palakaris, that's right, come out and answer a question. So a little bit of bickering, I guess, worked in our favor because we got George to respond on it. Uh, so what they were kind of arguing here is about West Christian. Yes, that's right, Mr. West Christian, the mother of all, you know, naked sh naked short selling. Uh, the mother load of all the shorted shares. The mother load of shares are MMTLP. MMAT hired West Christian to get that data. And this here is basically saying that uh, Mark Basile is saying that Meta's report uh, was given to, the report from West Christian was given to Meta Materials months ago. Uh, Mark says he doesn't represent Meta, so he can't talk about it, but Wes unlikely cannot either. So basically, only people that can uh, talk about this report of the data that Wes Christian has gathered would be Meta Materials. So Mark Basile says here, I bet you Palakaris can confirm they had this report for months and are just sitting on it. Go ahead and ask him. And we got a reply. So here we go. He said, thank you, Mark. While I was still on board in Q4, the company did receive a draft report. I'm guessing by now it is finalized. One of the challenges in these cases is able to have enough money available or to secure it via a sponsor. This funding is needed so that an issuer can finance the legal key next steps, such as filing a lawsuit or multiple against a bad actor or multiple that such report findings reveal. There should be no reason why MMAT would sit on it. There should be no reason why they would not be able to find a good sponsor. Worst case, I am sure MMAT and NextBridge MMTLP investors would find such case and share the upside, if asked. Looking at West's impeccable track record, it would be a slam dunk, which is one of the reasons I introduced him to our board over a year ago. I know you have to separately work together, on cases, please ask me what's in the report. Uh, hoping we will get our answers in the MAT investor call on April 3rd by the management. Hope this helps. So there is what we're getting at, the possible news for tomorrow. Uh, George is hoping maybe MMAT will talk about that in the investor call tomorrow. That would be fantastic if we can get that news. Uh, here we can see uh, Marcus thanking uh, Palakaris. And Palakaris said, uh, Mark says, Palakaris is not the person to ask for what's in the report. It's Meta Materials job and is the board. However, I'm sure uh, George can share information with his attorneys for any uh, legitimate legal purpose. And George says, please don't ask me what's in the report. The company will share in time, I am sure. So thank you, George, for replying to that. Uh, there it was where he said, don't ask him for the report. George legally cannot talk about it, so it's going to have to be up to MMAT and the board to discuss the report that West Christian has got. Let's hope maybe in this call tomorrow, uh, maybe they already got the sponsor, got the money available to get this report and get the cases going, get some lawsuits going. That'd be fantastic. Uh, here is the actual um, 
corporate webcast here. Uh, you can click on this, you can go right here to the official press release. Uh, Meta announced that on the webcast will be tomorrow, Wednesday, April 3rd at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So there you go, April 3rd, 4.30. So let's fingers cross, guys, that maybe Meta Materials will give us something. Uh, and leading into that, uh, they had a space here. Uh, Junk Savvy had a space talking about today is 480 days. 480 days since the MMTLP U3 Hulk. Can you believe that, guys? 480 days. Uh, here says, uh, Jonna says, Palak Harris said he can't answer West Info questions, but everyone should ask Mr. Jack Harding at uh, metamaterial.com or investor relations at metamaterial.com to release the update in tomorrow presentation. Ask them to answer our questions. So, that is the uh, big thing right there. Got to send an email to Mr. Jack Harding. Got to send an email to Investor Relations. And hopefully we get a response here on the investor call tomorrow. If not, that will be the primary focus is to flood them with emails from all of us. Please give us an update on that report from Mr. West Christian. That is exactly what we need. As you see there, 480 days, guys. This is just insane. This is I just cannot believe that we are still here. It is rough. Um, I've been reading some of the comments in yesterday's video. Uh, thank you to everyone that was very positive on my, uh, like I said, nice little break there. Uh, now I feel like, I, feel, I totally still feel like recharged, which is good. I feel excited to come back to YouTube. Uh, keep you up to date, even if there's not really much going on. Uh, giving you what is out there and just keeping you informed. And that's pretty much what I want to do. Keep you informed what's going on. Uh, take everything, sum it up. But yeah, um, and then, you know, the comments where, you know, people are struggling. Trust me, I feel you, man. We're all struggling right now. Um, someone also commented about my shares in Fidelity. Uh, I did tweet a few weeks back, maybe a week or two ago, um, that I did transfer my shares out of Fidelity. But I just checked before I did this video, the shares are still setting in Fidelity. So Fidelity has not sent my shares to AST yet because they are, um, well, I guess now it's not AST, it's gonna be someone else now. So I hope that don't really confuse it. Uh, but the shares are still setting in Fidelity and they were supposed to be sending the shares to AST and it was literally like the next day or day after AST is being another name now. Uh, so I guess we'll see how all this takes place and but yeah So I'm about to get the exact date that that happened because My shares are still in fidelity now trade station was honest and upfront uh, When I transferred my share from trade station I think it was about three weeks to a month before it did because they they were pretty much honest. They said about um, They wait to do one bulk certificate basically so they do one big they wait till they get enough orders in and they do one bulk certificate out and they, my trade station shares, I have a certificate from AST confirming they are in there. Uh, so those are all good to go. Uh, they are no longer showing in trade station. I got the certificate from AST to prove that, that they are in there now, got the certificate. Um, and now just waiting on Fidelity to get the shares out of there, get those over to AST and then get the certificate from AST to confirm that. And yeah, so that is pretty much all the updates I think I got for today. We are hoping, fingers crossed, that Meta Materials gives us an update on tomorrow's web call. So hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash the thumbs up, drop a comment down below. Love and appreciate every single one of you all. Peace.